name is John Mike at Jovok Form 3. And uh, here with me is a Dai Mini electric engine, which also can work as a magnetic engine. It has two components in it, two major components in it, what you can call as uh, systems. Well, you see, in the society we are living in, uh, even outside there, there are very many cars, and these, most of these cars are powered using uh, these fuel engines. Well, the fuel engines there are these ones where by stop at a petrol station, put in some fuel, combustion takes place, uh, and the car moves. But then, most of you know about Elon Musk. Well, he works in uh, making electric, electric cars. These cars are powered by electric engines, but for them, they don't use engines. For them, instead, they use motors. But right here is a Daimini electric engine or a magnetic engine. Well, here for it, instead of using four motors to power up the wheels, for it, it uses two motors, and on the other part, it uses a neodymium magnets. <coughs> well, first of all, when you switch it on, even before I go to that, well, the main reason why I created this, the society we are living in, as you know, the fuel engines, all these engines produce uh, fumes. The fumes, once they rise up in the air, they cause air pollution, which isn't environmental friendly. But here is a diamond electric engine, which doesn't release any fumes. And uh, the only cost it takes, it's just uh, charging the cells, and that's all. But uh, now let me show you the components of which it is comprised. Well, first, these are neodymium magnets. They are pretty rare, earth, strong earth magnets. They are not easy to find. But then once you get a chance, trust me, they are strong. And uh, inside here, the other components are two. There are two mega, G, mega coil DC motors. Well, they are also good motors. They work very well. And they are good at powering up things like this or other things that really need too much power. Well, first of all, some of you might be wondering, uh, how did I put uh, two parts? Whereby one part is of uh, motors and one is of the neodymia magnets. Well, in here, they are, you know, we have a bar, bar gears in a set, in a gear set. There are different gears. There are spiral gears, bar gears. Well, there are very many gears. But in here, I put a base gear. Whereby, once uh, this rotates, once uh, the magnet, the, once uh, the DC motors rotate, they will power up from the other section. But then, since uh, cause of the, cause of the the base, uh, the base gear, it has a, for it, the gears are facing up. That's why it's called the base here. Well, as it rotates, it will power up from the other side. Then when, once you switch on these, they will power up from the, the other side, but all making the same spin. Hence, powering up the rod, which drives the power to the differential. But the differential will drive the, the wheels. The wheels, if they were here. But then this is also enough to show you. Well, let me first switch on and you see how it works. And that is one section whereby you use the DC motors. Then uh, for this section, the spin will be almost the same, but then it will have a different magnitude. And uh, if you're to do that, let me also, as you see, right, it's kind of different. Not the same as the first one. And that's, uh, and that's all for this. Then, uh, well, the next thing I wanted to say is uh, most of these parts, they are not uh, expensive, only some parts that are expensive, only the magnets and the, and the DC motors. But the rest, they, are, they can actually be good from anywhere. Because as you can see, it's cardboard, some plywood at the bottom, and, and other things. Then uh, the batteries, obviously you can get batteries from anywhere, but these ones are strong ones, or the ones that can do the job, the, this job perfectly. And uh, only that, that's all for this. Well, I remain John Mike.